Hey everyone, Shemim here and welcome back to another episode of our Sunderland Return to Glory career mode. Now, first of all, I just want to apologise about the previous episode. I wasn't very well and I decided that I'd keep myself entertained by recording a video and I just struggled to be honest with you, but I can't redo it. The game's been saved and all that sort of stuff, so we're stuck with it, unfortunately. Um, but I've made a couple of changes to the last video, uh, mainly on the bench. So what I've done is I've taken a bass off the bench and brought in Davis. Uh, two reasons why. Abbas um, can only play centre forward, whereas Davis can play centre forward and striker. Plus, Abbas only has exciting prospect. Davis has something special. So Davis is going to be a 90-plus striker, hopefully. I've also taken Mariani off the bench, who is showing great potential. So he's 80 to 85 and brought on... Huh? I've taken Tezar off the bench and I brought Mariani on. Mariani's got exciting prospect, so he's a better option, I think, at the moment. So those are the only two things I have changed, and now we can push through until the end of the year and see how we get on. Uh, of course, Champions League against Valencia. I feel like Team B is where I'm going to go for this one, just because we've got the stronger defence. Uh, and then Team A can face off against Stoke City on the Saturday. Yeah, it's just a stronger defence in Team A because of the injury we have to Konate. Uh, we're playing 71 rated, weighted. 71 rated Wirizek, uh, which is okay. It's going to be good for him to progress, but it's probably not the best option, is it, really? I'm hoping that we can get Linz's potential back up. We lost 2-0. Wow. Okay, that's disappointing. That's very disappointing, actually. Um, I wasn't expecting that. I thought we were going to do well in that game, but there we go. Uh, back to Team A, then, ready for this game against Stoke City. Uh, the league, we're doing pretty well. We have had a couple of draws, but apart from that, we've won. Uh, yeah, we've had two draws and five wins so far, so hopefully we can continue. We want to finish top four at least. Uh, the board want us to win the league, which might be a bit more difficult. Uh, but a 2-1 victory here over Stoke City. Two goals for Joshua Kimmich. Um, it was a tight game, but we'll take the win nonetheless away from home. Transfer offer for Joshua Vajnaman. Now, that's interesting. That is interesting because potentially we could change formation. Maybe that's something we'll have a look at in January. Now, what's Fajnaman's 90 million? Ooh, Nelly. All right, we're accepting that. We're accepting 90 million for Vajnaman, and we're going to get rid of wingbacks, I think. 90 million. He's, he's 86 rated. He's not even going to progress that much more, but Vajnaman wants to leave the club. We've had a £90 million offer. That should be enough for us to go out and buy another strong centre-back. We're going to go for free at the back formation, I think. This could actually work out really well for us. And we've lost one of our scouted players. Vajnaman has gone for £90 million. That's a massive, massive profit on him. Massive profit. And it means that in January, we are going to change the way we play, then, I think. We're going to change our formation. Right, let's check out the scouts, though. 75 to 94. Is he a goalkeeper? He's a centre-back, isn't he? Is that centre-back? I don't know. I'm going to take him, though. 77 to 94. Ian Crow. Uh, Connor Duffy's a no. Uh, we'll keep scouting you, I think. You're a no. You're a no. And you're a no. Is this the last of this one? Or no, we've got more scouting to do. Okay. It's a couple of good players there from Northern Ireland, then. Over in Paraguay. Now, you're a goalkeeper. That must have been a centre-back then. Two goalkeepers. But you're already gone to another club, so we can ignore you. Uh, we can ignore you as well. And you. So many goalkeepers. Another one. Another one. Um, right. So, we've got... Okay, we'll get rid of this Castaneda. Diego Moyano, though. Could be interesting. We'll take you. And finally, then, we've got the scout who is currently away in Russia. He looks like a really good goalkeeper, doesn't he? Just, we've got so many goalkeepers, it's unbelievable. Um, we'll keep scouting you. We'll keep scouting you. I'm tempted to take you, though. I don't know why. Actually, I'm not going to. I'm going to scout you for further months because your current ability is very, very low. Okay. Newcastle United up next. Uh, we're going to go back to Team B for this one. So, yeah, we know Linz has not got a fantastic potential. Uh, Vajnaman's not great. Of course, we sold Max Ahrens. Guy Ferreri, whatever his name is. Yes, we beat Newcastle. They're a good team at the moment as well. Goals for Dembele and Gnabry. Uh, yeah, we can um, we can move Guy Ferrari in 
to centre back because he can play centre back anyway. So this actually could work out pretty well for us. I'm, I'm quite happy of how this is going to pan out, I think. Um, we can't do training now, can we? So let's go back with Team A for this one then. Uh, against Braga. We do probably need a win here after losing to Valencia in the previous game. It's a risky one playing Wirasek as the centre-back, but needs to come to musts. And he gets the winning goal. Oh, look at that. There's me. I'm bad-mouthing him as such, but there's me saying that it's a risk playing him. And he goes and gets the winning goal in the game. Okay. Right. It says we reached the cup finals, apparently. Uh, let's get the training done. So, of course, Davis and Ponce and Mancia are players. Mancia, again, I think is a player who... This Mancia, actually, is defensive mid, isn't he? So, yeah, it's going to be interesting how we pan it out. We could go with more wide players. Maybe. I'll have to have a look and see who we have, I think, at the end of this. Um, so let's switch back then to Team A for this game against Everton. Yeah, big changes are coming in January. Big, big changes. And it's a 3-1 victory. Goals from Ferreira and Dembele and Franson from the bench as well, getting his first goal for the club. Yeah, because it means we can start playing Backman more often as well. Yeah, I'm thinking about playing with three centre-backs. Two deep midfielders. Mm, that means we have to lose a midfielder then. Uh, no, we're not. I'll have to plan it out. I'll have to plan it out and see what the best option is to do. Whether the best option is having more central players or more wide players, I'm not sure. Um, Simonson wants to play in this game. I mean, you hopefully come off the bench maybe because I don't really want to start you. Um, in an important game in the Carabao Cup, which is another win. Van der Voort picks up another slight injury, but he does continue on for the full game, so hopefully he should be okay. So the last thing we want is more injuries, especially to a goalkeeper. Um, we've got Chelsea... Oh, is, is he going to be okay to play in the Chelsea game? What? Five weeks? He played on? Wow, he's good. I like him. Uh, 77 to 94, 72 to 90, 80 to 90, 73 to 91, 76 to 94, 72 to 92. Oh, I can't believe he's out for five weeks. Now, the question is, though, do we play with... Hugo Lloris, who is 76 rated. I think we go for Ponce, who's 73 rated. I mean, he needs to level up. He's going to be our first choice goalkeeper moving forward. It might be a bit iffy for the next month or two um, while we're using him. But you know what? I'm, I'm sort of excited to see how he gets on because I think eventually he is going to be taking Van der Voort's place in goal. Van der Voort will be sold. And yeah. This is every chance for Ponce to show exactly how good a player he is. Hmm. I'm perplexed now. I really am perplexed about the the future of what we're going to be doing. Um, we're going to go with Team B on this one against Chelsea in the league. Chelsea are in fifth. We're currently in second. Joint top, though, with Manchester City. Only a point ahead of third, who is Watford. Chelsea won three games in a row. And they continue that run on against us with a 1-0 victory. Not good at all. So, yeah, we've got Marinescu can play out wide. We've got Backman can play out wide. We've got Wirizek on the bench can play out wide. We do have actually more wide players. Hmm, so this could actually work out quite nicely. Davis hits up to a 66. We want to get him to a point where the club or the, the assistant, whoever it is managing the games, is happy to bring him on as a sub in games. Uh, this is an important game against Braga. This could confirm us... Going through to the next round. Um, so we're going to go with Team A again in this one then. They've got Wurizak at centre-back. I bad-mouthed him last time and he scored the winning goal. He's got to play again in this game. Come on, Wurizak. Come on, my man. 2-0 win. We'll take it. Goals for Sancho and Rashford. Lovely jubbly. Right. Um, delete wants to play more. I can't delete. You've been playing a lot. Transfer offer for Alberto Gallardo. Are you one of the ones on the transfer list? You are. So you are gone, 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 my man. Right, we're clearing more space out the squad then. Uh, Delete wants to play again. Um, I think you have been playing a lot of games, to be fair, Delete. Um, 
I don't know why you're so annoyed, to be honest. Uh, players leave a task duty. Got an offer coming from Moses Mompenga or Mome Momoepa. I can't pronounce it. Right, so... Yeah, Delete wants to play this game. That's absolutely fine by me. Big game against Manchester City. I probably should have played our strongest side, but I've gone for uh, this side, which lost 5-0. Wow. Wow. Well, that just shows we're not quite at the level I was hoping we were at this point in time, are we? We're not going to win the league this year, I don't think. But we're going to get closer. I think as long as we get Champions League football again, I'll be happy. Definitely, yeah. Okay. Um, right, so next up then in the league, is it going to be? Or is it FA Cup? No, of course not FA Cup yet. What am I talking about? Um, right, so this is the end of those youth scouting reports. See if we've got any more cracking youngsters. Um, uh, Keith McCafferty. Uh, Keith, Keith Cafferty. That's the words I'm looking for. Got a bit tongue twisted there for a second. We'll take you. Um, into Russia, 75 to 93. I suppose I've got to take, haven't I? Um, 71 to 94. I suppose I should take just in case. 79 to 94. 60 to 80. Wow. Okay, that might be the. Come on, 60 to 80. You've got to hope you're close to that 70 mark, aren't you? You've got to hope you're close to that 70 mark. Another two goalkeepers. Another three goalkeepers, should I say. Let's go and check. We've got to be close. I mean, if he's like a 70 or higher, then he could be an absolute star. I'm going to do the training before I forget as well while I'm here. Um, let's whack that out. Oh, okay. We've got injury to someone. Okay, we'll do that in a second then. Um... I'm too interested in seeing what's happened. Oh, no, it's um international break, isn't it? Right, where are you, my man? Is that you? That no, can't be you, no. Where is the man? 65. Come on. 65. I'm disappointed with that. Colm Cafferty. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Right, we've got 319 million to spend. So if we do change our formation in the summer or in January, we've got every opportunity we need to completely change the squad and um, we're going to push on because our other guy from the training has uh, ended up we've got Mill as a Brighton not Millwall um, is Van der Voort back yet? he's nearly back and Konate is nearly back as well okay so we're going to go with team B again then uh, although Kimmich wants to play so we're going to go with team A because Kimmich wants to play uh, Konate and Van der Voort are nearly back after that hammering from Man City, we need to get back on with a victory here if we can. A 2-0 win, two goals from Kingsley Coman. And Davis came off the bench as well, finally. The game is using Davis. That's what I wanted to see. Um, next up, Champions League, Locomotive, Moscow. Um, why is Davis not popping back up in here now then? Now, let's go for a bit of adept attacking scenarios. Um, we want to get him up to close to a 70. And then we can leave the game to run by itself with him then. We'll go a bit of race against the clock. And we'll go for a bit of... Passing? Let's do a bit of passing, actually. Yeah, let's do a bit of vision and long passing. Let's do a bit of that. Right, there we go. That's that done. Wow, Davis did crap in training this week. Right then. So, big one against Locomotive Moscow. I mean, we need a point from the final two games, but... I don't really fancy our luck too much against Valencia because they beat us last time. So I'm a little bit worried about that one. Um, so do I go with our strongest team in this game against Locomotive Moscow? I think we do. We get Karate and Van der back in the team. I think for this game we should go for this, I think. I mean, it's a risk playing Canate and Van der Voort, but we should be okay. 5-0 win, I'll take it. Linz got sent off. He came off the bench and got sent off. Wow. Kimmich, De Jong, Sancho, two goals for Rashford. I'll take that all day long. And that'll put us through to the knockout stage of the Champions League. Wow. It's been a good season so far. We dropped a sixth in the league, though, which is not ideal. We want to try and get top four again. We want to try and get that Champions League spot. Two games 
in a very short period of time here as well. We forgot to send the scouts back out, didn't we? Ah! I'm blaming you guys for that one. 78 to 94, 76 to 90. Right, you're not good enough. 77 to 94, 87 to 94, 67 to 87. Get out of my club. 71 to 87. Get out of here. Even you're not good enough as well as a goalkeeper. Um, and then the rest of these. Oh, you know what, George Taylor? I'm afraid that you're going to be a goner as well. Um, Ian Crow, you're a goner. And I think, nope, we've got another one here. Diego Moyano has gone as well. I am very interested in, where is he? Emil Kononov. I mean, we could just take him straight up now, but I'm going to leave him there for a little bit longer until he moans. He's 66 rated, so he's probably good enough to be part of the squad. Um, let us go into the youth, they're not youth academy, what am I doing? What am I doing in my life? Right, youth staff. Right, let's send these guys back out again. We've not done America, I don't think, in a long time. So let's do a bit of America. Madsen. Um, give me some... Ivory. Ah, so let's do South Africa. I don't think we've done that in a while as well. South Africa. And then Brendan O'Carroll. I'm going to send you out to... When we... We've been to... Oh, Venezuela, I think, is one we haven't done in a while. Let's do Venezuela. Just trying to mix and match our team a little bit, really. Right, Aston Villa at home. We want to probably go with uh, Team B for this one. And then we'll have Team A for the Leicester game. We need to get back on track. We need to start winning games again. 2-2 Two -two draw. Ah, oh, Backman came off the bench and got a goal, though. We brought on Backman very early in the game, didn't we? Interesting. Um, Ferreira wants to play more. You just played that game Ferreira, didn't you? Or, I don't know, actually. Davis is levelling up. That's the problem of having these two starting lineups. It's a bit of a problem, isn't it? But in fairness, we have been playing the other team a bit more so that uh, Delete can get his happiness back up. And now Ferreira's unhappy with it. Um, right, scouting networks have been set up, which is fine. So we've got a midweek game here against Leicester is a pretty difficult one. Um, right, so I believe Canate should be back now and ready to play. So we can do that and bring... Uh, where are you, Canate? Here, yeah, Canate, Canate, Canate. Why is Van der Voort so unhappy? There he is, Canate. Yeah, why is... Uh, not Van der Voort, sorry. Why is Castaneda so unhappy? Why is Mancia on the pitch? I've messed that up completely, haven't I? Because that should be where is that now at centre back? All right, there you are. Okay, on the bench. Okie doke. I don't know why Castaneda is so unhappy? Maybe uh, do you want a new contract? Maybe. Where are you, Castaneda? Player performance and contract. Okay, I'll give him a new contract in January then. Uh, keep him happy. We've had him for a very very long time in this career mode, so. It'd be nice to get him leveled up. Right, we're going to go with Team A in this one. Uh, is that the one that Ampadu's part of? It is. Okay, that's going to keep Ampadu happy as well then. I think I might leave Ponce as well, the goalkeeper, in one of the teams. 4 0 win. Nice. Two, a goal for Kimmich, one for Sancho, two for Rashford. Happy with that. We needed to get our winning ways back underway. Usman uh, Dembele is unhappy now about not being selected enough as well. We're getting some problems here. We're starting to get some unhappiness issues. Um, Dembele, you're part of this team. Team B, which has got Delete as well. It's just mix and match, Dembele. It's mix and match. We've got to keep everyone fit, everyone healthy. We've got Champions League and everything this year. There we go. 3 1 victory goals for Camavinga, Marinescu, and Ferreira. Lovely jubbly. How are we doing then? We are in the Champions League now. We have already qualified for the Champions League, so this is essentially just a fight for the top of the group, which we don't necessarily need to really be too involved in. Um, we could actually... Well, Linz is suspended, so Team A it is then, I suppose. I was going to say we could play a different squad, but if Linz is suspended because we're sending off, then we've got to go and play Team A in this one. 
and we lose 2-1. And Tonali gets a sending off. Lots of ascending offs at the moment, isn't there? Okay. Right, let's get the training done. Uh, Ponce, the defender, gets up to a 65. Which is nice. Right, so we've got Watford coming up on the Saturday. That's an important game, Watford. We're back in fourth position now. We're eight points behind Man City, though, at her top. Liverpool and Chelsea also ahead of us. But Liverpool in the Carabao Cup. That's not ideal. Um, okay. We're going to go with the... No, we're not going to go for the default squad for this game. We're going to go for Team A for this one. Because Marinescu slightly got a knock. Okay. Give us the win. Give us the win. Give us... It's a 2-2 two -two draw. And Van der Voort picked up another injury. Bugger. Bugger. Right. Um, I believe Vandervoort's not out for too long. That's really annoying. I, we've got a real injury-prone goalkeeper all of a sudden. Um, he stayed on the pitch. Don't be wrong, but last time he stayed on the pitch, he was out for five weeks. So I'm not going to keep my hopes too high at this point in time. Right, Liverpool then in the quarterfinals of the Carabao Cup. Van der Voort is out injured, yeah. So I can go for Team B in this one. Or do I want to push in this competition? I'm just going to go with Team B, I think. I don't want to go too hard. I want to keep everyone fit and healthy. We lost 4-0. But on the plus side, we did manage to injure Mo Salah. So you never know. That might be good. Um... Probably should have played our strongest side, shouldn't I? Right, Crystal Palace upcoming next. We need to pull away a little bit from the teams below us uh, to contain that fourth position if we can. Crystal Palace is next then. Van der Voort is back. Okay, that's good. Delete is still unhappy about the lack of game time, which is crazy really because you are playing a lot of games, mate. Uh, seven days of Vandervoort. That was fine. It's already gone past now, hasn't it? Um, could I not? Uh, okay. I was going to respond to it, but apparently I can't. Uh, Crystal Palace then should be a winnable game for us. It is 3-0. Goals for Tonali, Sancho and Rashford. Lovely. And Dembele's happy now because he's playing more football. Even though I've changed nothing, uh, he's happier now. Davis hits up to a 68, which is fantastic. Like I say, I want to get him close to a... Well, I want him to get to a 70, and then hopefully the game will start selecting him more for games. That's the plan. And uh, Next up, then West Brom and Jarbin in the league. We've got a four-point gap now away from Manchester United, who are in fifth. Which is good. We've got a difficult couple of games here, though. Um, so we're going to go for Team B first. Uh, West Brom away from home. Yeah, so Ponce is getting more first team football now. We need to level him up as quickly as we can. It's a 1-0 win for West Brom. And Linz got sent off. Okay. Well, Linz, unfortunately, we were discussing this a minute ago about a change in January. And I think you might be one of the people that are going to be, you know, a big... Well, you're going to suffer. Let's just say that. You're going to suffer from this change. It's going to kick you out of the team. Arsenal uh, away from home. Then if he run Arsenal, they got a 2-2 draw off us though. Form is not looking good at the moment, is it? Form is not looking good. We do need a change and that change is going to come in January. Um, right, let's hit the training up quickly. I'm, I'm going to start the next month ever so slightly just so we can get the Vajnaman deal done. Just so I can plan things out before we start the next video. Uh, just plan out my, my future... The problem is, is Wambasaka. I paid a lot of money for him, and if I do do what I'm gonna do, <laughs> if I do 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 do, then it means may, may, if I play him centre back, it might be right actually. It might work with that. I'll have to have a look. Um, right, so we're gonna go into the first of the month. We're gonna let the players go that have been sold. 
Uh, let's check our youth squad report first. Okay, you're looking good. You're all looking good, aren't you, really? Apart from Peter Hogan, you're, you're crap. Um, and Keith Cafferty, you can go as well. Okay, I'm thinking you're going to go as well, actually. And um, we'll do the scouts now as well while we're here. Um, so you're a no. No. Yeah, possible. Fabrizio Guerrero. Yeah, we'll take you. Uh, next up then, into Uh We'll get rid of Namelli Sello. Antini. Oh, another freaking goalkeeper. Why? Why must this game be so pro goalkeeper? Maybe what I should do is I should do what I tell everyone else to do, and that is um, to start searching for certain things. Like, oh, wow. Brett. Brett Park, 85 to 94. Whoo. That is some crackers, that is. Absolute crackers. Right. So has Vajnaman left the club yet? He has, okay. Okay, that's fine. I can sort things out now then. Um, what, am I, what, am I, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? I was going to check to see how good that uh, guy was, weren't I? That American. Uh, his current ability. He is... Okay, well, he's only 15. I can't even sign him yet, but he's going to go straight in the first team, isn't he? Okay. Okay. So, Vajdaman has gone. Uh, I think I'm going to sort this out a bit now because I'm thinking... Maybe we're going to go for a free at the back formation. Free centre backs. Uh, Wambasaka, you can you play centre back? I don't think it says. Hmm. Maybe you could play as the right centre back. I think this still might work. Anyway, I'm going to play around with it and I'll be back with you very, very shortly. Well, I'll say shortly in a few days' time for some more of the Sunderland return to glory and hopefully a new start, a new beginning. We've got tons of money. We might have to spend uh, on bringing in some uh, 404 million. Maybe another defender to help this new formation could be an option. Or maybe Kai Havertz, who knows. Anyway, I'll see you in a few days' time. Bye.